he sponsored my hotel, you know, my air ticket, you know, as well as uh, he gave me some allowance for each trip. For him to fork out this money to actually sponsor me to every tournament, it was, you would say that it's quite ridiculous. My name is Sien. I'm a professional fighting game player from Singapore and I mainly play Street Fighter V now. Oh. Oh. Final pixel. Oh, oh yeah. the target of the hands confirm. Your Evolution 2013 champion with Gen. This was his year. Back then in the days, there isn't really a lot of entertainment, you know, like phones and like computer. So when I first stepped to the arcade when I was six years old, it was a really eyes opener for me to see so many games in the arcade. And that's where I discovered fighting games. Compared to all the other games in the arcade, fighting game is the only one that when you actually won, you can just keep playing without putting any money inside. So when I was young, I only have about $2 and I have the whole day to spend in the arcade. So that's where like, I got really attracted to fighting games. I also remember I finished my secondary school at that time and I actually have no interest to continue studying because all I wanted to do was just to game. When gaming kind of died off, I kind of lost interest in studying as well. I'm just really obsessed with uh, making money. So that's where I went into doing a lot of jobs from uh, cargo to barbecue chicken wing to K-box, uh, restaurant. And when Shiva 4 came out, my friends kind of asked me you know, started to call me to go back to play. There was a lot of tournaments also at that time, and also that's where I started my journey of uh, traveling. I started winning tournaments in Singapore that gives me free air ticket and hotel to Sweden, to DreamHack, to Korea. I've always liked traveling since young, but you know, I never thought like Street Fighter would actually bring me to these countries. I know I'm pretty good at the game, but I never really think of I'm the top of the game or even like top in Singapore or in the world. I just really enjoy playing it. Working on a perfect here. Matt corner Gassian, to corner, corner gets. to corner. Wow. And Zian takes it. That was just... So when I go to overseas, when I got the second place in DreamHack, that was where I started to realize that Singapore actually has a lot of high level players. Like Singapore's level in fighting game was actually really high. The price money was $3,000. And it kind of just incurred in me like I could just keep traveling overseas if that could actually happen and I can keep recycle the prize money. Evo was the most memorable one that I actually joined because it was the first world championship that I won. And I felt like Evo kind of changed my life. When the moment when I won Evo championship, I was actually a bit disappointed because back then uh, I did have a personal sponsor which is Lan. He has been uh, sponsoring my travel since 2011. He told me that, you know, like I should go and find a real sponsorship. He knows that, you know, it's better for me to find a real company, a real sponsor since I already made up my name. So even though it was a great win, you know, for me, but I didn't know the path moving forward. So I felt a little lost at that time. So I met Len through a mutual friend, you know, since he's a big fan of a uh, fighting game and has a lot of retro stuff of collection, you know, to himself. Without Len, I don't think I'm able to achieve any of this because he sponsored my hotel, you know, my air ticket, you know, as well as uh, he gave me some allowance for each trip. That lasted a whole period of two to three years. For him to fork out this money to actually sponsor me to every tournament, it was, you would say that it's quite ridiculous. Another one would be Cameraman, uh, Bill Coin Yongte. So Cameraman actually taught me from the start how to do, you know, YouTube videos. He taught me how to do videos where we started cross counter adventures together. And he also set up a shop for me, Tough Cookie, where if everything kind of goes wrong, like I would just be in the shop and just uh, continue my dreams, you know, like until doing videos, doing more of a content creator. And so he has really thought very far ahead about how my path should be. 
thinking back now of how he has laid a part of so many different backup plans for me, I think that he has um, played a very big role, you know, in making me, you know, like where am I today as well. Xian has taken it and there is his country teammate Z. Up there with a huge hug, Singapore, your evolution. 2013 champion. A lot of companies and a lot of opportunities rose because of my world championship. You know, it was published on newspaper, straight times, and it gets a lot of attention. So that was also where like I got an opportunity, you know, to get on to got on board with Razer. And that's where I kind of consider myself being a pro gamer. I think being sponsored by Razer during that time was like a dream come true. Because when I was young, Having a Razer mouse itself is almost like impossible task because I'm pretty poor. You know, especially being a Singaporean company, that was really, per se, one of my happiest days ever when I received the contract from Razer. Of course, it's still really satisfying to be winning tournaments, but it felt a lot more like a job now compared to back, to back in the days. But you know, it has been 10 years, you know, when I've been a pro gamer. And I'm really happy and you know, I really appreciate what gaming has brought to me all this time. But I think because of the time span that I've been in this, since I was 6 years old, so that was a total of about 26 years. So I guess it can't, sometimes it can't be helped that uh, now it really feel, it does not feel as much happy, you know, since it has been such a long time. I think you just have to grab every opportunity that comes by. I wouldn't say it's very easy. You know, it's all knowledge at the end of the day, how you are going to grab the right people, talk to the right people. And I would not say it's impossible because I feel like there's a lot of opportunity comes to people all the time. So it really depends on the individual.